we have the one and only, the infamous, famous assistant coach, Crystal Robinson, uh, with us. Okay, we're going to go to uh, John with Global Traveler. Hi, Coach. With the uh, with the condensed schedule this in this shortened season, how will you balance um, giving the uh, how will you balance having the players work really hard in practice versus giving them enough recovery time? Uh, I think uh, Coach Ag's been in the league long enough to figure that out. Um, I'm still learning a lot from him. Um, I think that these games are so close together that we'll have a lot of walkthroughs. Um, we ain't going to have a lot of time to have full-blown practices, and we're going to have to learn a lot on the fly. Some of the learning is going to be done. Coach is going to write that stuff up on the board, and they're going to have to go out and execute it um, if we want our legs. So it's just going to be a little bit different for us. Um, we're not going to get to practice things all the time. And I think us being young, the youth of it is going to be – it plays to our advantage this uh you know, when you're set in your ways and things, you're used to a certain routine. I think our kids will just on the fly and um, and deal with the situation a lot better. Awesome. Okay, everybody, we have Kayla Thornton with us, the pride of El Paso. Okay, next we're going to go to uh, John with Global Traveler. Hi, Kayla. Thank you for your time. Um, you mentioned the season is quick. Obviously, we all know it's very quick. This little turnaround between games. Are you at all concerned about uh, recovery time from game to game? Um, it's going to be a little different. That's why as us being young, I think we kind of we have a, have an advantage, but we still have to make sure that we take care of our bodies, right? And we rest. Um, these games are, are physical. They're going to, you know, some of our young players, they're not going to be used to all this physicality uh, in the W, you know, from college going to the W. So it's going to put some stuff on their body. So we just have to be mentally mentally ready and physically ready. And I think, you know, our trainers, many is doing a good job as far as getting, as far as getting us ready for that. Because it's, it's, a, it's a short season, but we have a lot of games. And it is going to be some wear and tear, but you have to be able to, to work through that and be able to know when to rest your body and, and eat the right stuff and whatnot. Thanks, John. Everyone, we have Satu Sabali. I'm Americanized. <laughs> was, that? was that good? It was American. <laughs> <laughs> All right, everybody. We have uh, Satu Sabali with us. And uh, again, if you'd like to ask a question, uh, raise your hand and uh, we'll, uh, we'll get you in the order that you're called on. That and one was good, by the way. Gonna go, first, we are going to go. Oh, sorry about that. First, we are going to go to uh, Pepper Persley. Hi, Satu. How are you doing? Good. How are you? I'm good. Um, what would you? What are your takeaways from this week's scrimmages? Uh, the physicality is key. <laughs> you just asked what I want to take away. Yeah, expand okay. on that. Cool. Uh, I mean, yeah, physicality is key. You know, we realize that we have to be a lot more physical. It's definitely um, a big difference to college games. And I think, you know, it really has to do with grown women. They're just there. They have been here forever. And, you know, they die, they post you up like you're nothing. And it's just really something I need to get used to and, you know, just keep learning. Okay. We're going to go to John with Global Traveler. Hi, Sato. Um, with the, um, the lack of fans in the arena, is that going to change your mental approach getting ready for the game? No, no. You know, you get ready for the game, the same thing. You know, you have a game day routine, you do the same things. And whether they're fans there or not, you know, they're going to watch on TV. Uh, and that's not a really big difference. We, ha we just have to get each other fired up on the bench. We have to be more vocal. We're able to understand each other on the court, so that's a plus. I'm just going to try to take the positives out of this. Obviously, it's going to be different, but my my aggressiveness shouldn't change in my preparedness. 